Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My question for you today is, is fear holding you back? Is fear holding you back? 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says this. This is the new King James Version. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So how do you know if fear is holding you back? Sometimes if God has given you an assignment, a mission, a mandate, something to do, um, but you are fearful, how do you know you're in fear? Well, you might feel like, well, I can't move forward until I have the people. I can't move forward until I have the money. I can't move forward until the conditions are right and perfect. You might be paralyzed by fear. You might be gripped by fear. And so the enemy may be coming against you with fear to keep you from moving forward in the things of God. So oftentimes when we have a spirit of fear, when we're struggling with fear, we can't go forward. You are, you're not real sure what to do and you feel like you're stuck. You feel like things are hopeless, that situations are impossible, that you'll never be able to do what God called you to do, or you'll never be able to do that dream that's in your heart. You'll never be able to do the thing that you've always wanted to do. Oftentimes that is fear. That is fear trying to grip you, to keep you stuck, to take your voice, to keep you from speaking out, to keep you from doing what God called you to do. But God said, he didn't give you that. If you have that fear going on, if there's something in your life telling you you're not good enough, you can't, you don't have enough, you nobody cares, nobody wants to hear from you, nobody wants to see what you know how to do, all of that is fear. God said he did not give you that. He did not put that in you or on you. God said he has given you power. He has given you love and a sound mind. So God says he's given you the power you need to overcome it. He's given you love. God loves you. He's in you. And he's given you love to work through and maneuver because the Bible also talks about perfect love casts out all fear. Perfect love will get rid of the fear that's trying to take over your life. And God said he gave you a sound mind. Most of the time that fear is in your mind. The enemy is attacking your mind. He's telling you, you're not good enough. You can't do it. You won't be able to do it. You're going to fail. All of that stuff is lies from the enemy. So if you feel like you're being gripped by fear, if you feel like you're stuck and you can't move forward, if you feel like there's dreams and goals and visions that you have and you want to reach for it, but something just keeps you from reaching, something keeps you from moving forward, something keeps you from doing what God called you to do, something keeps you from being all that God called you to be, that is probably the spirit of fear. And most of the time when we start working through and praying with people and breaking down things to see what's happening in their life, lots of times it is rooted in fear. Fear keeps us from doing so many things. Fear keeps us from accomplishing things. Fear keeps us from getting out of the boat. If you know the, the story with Jesus and Peter, um, when Peter walked on the water, fear will keep you from getting out of the boat and walking on the water with Jesus. So I'm just praying for you today that you would just begin to search your heart. You'd ask God to give you direction and clarity and you'd pray into this to figure out, is fear stopping you? Is fear holding you back in some place, in some area of your life? So Lord, I just lift every person to you that may be hearing this on today, Lord, and I pray that you would speak to them. I pray you would give them direction and clarity, God. I pray that your perfect love, God, would drive out all the fear that might be in their lives. I come against the spirit of fear now that's trying to hold your people back in Jesus' name. I cancel that. I uproot it in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you will go forward in victory and power, that you will go forward with the power that only comes from God, that you will go forward in his love, that you will go forward with a sound mind in Jesus Christ to be everything God called you to be. So wherever you've been stuck, I loose you in the name of Jesus. Wherever you feel like you can't move forward, you don't know, you don't have vision in that area, I speak vision and clarity to you now in the name of Jesus. So I thank you that that spirit of fear is going to fall off of your life. It's going to be eradicated from your life in Jesus' name. And you're going to have the power that you need to go forward. You're going to have what you need to go forward. God will give you the strategy. He will give you the resources. He'll give you all that you need to go forward. But here's the thing I love about God. Most of the time, the things that you need come once you start moving. So when you start moving in the vision, when you start moving in the direction of where he has called you, most of the time you'll get what you need. So the resources will start to come. The people will start to come. The ideas will start to come. The power and the victory will start to come as you move, as you go. The Bible talks about when the lepers began to go, they got their healing as they went. So lots of times that can help you calm 
combat the spirit of fear. Just start moving in the direction that God is calling you to do. Start working on what he is calling you to do. And as you go, as you move, as you pray, as you plan, as you seek him, the fear will fall off of your life. The fear will be immobilized in your life. So that's my prayer for you today. Um, if you know somebody else that might be dealing with fear, somebody else that might be paralyzed by the spirit of fear, share this with them on today. If this has helped you, like this video, subscribe to the channel because I want to stay connected with you. So we will talk again soon.